wear and tear on Canada's aging infrastructure is taking a toll on motorists. And nowhere is it worse than in Montreal, where bridges and roads are crumbling, leaving crews scrambling and drivers in the lurch. Case in point, Montreal's Champlain Bridge is deteriorating, and that's prompting an urgent response from both the province and the feds. Building a new bridge and replacing this one had architects worrying about safety. Not about a safe design for the new one as much as getting people off the existing bridge before it gets too dangerous. The main task for the design team has really been to design a new bridge that could be constructed as fast as technically possible. Now, if that sounds like a bit of exaggeration, that urgency comes from the head of the architectural review panel working on the project. The Champlain Bridge is only about 55 years old, but it is quite literally in a constant state of repair and corroded to the point a new bridge has to be completed by 2018. Well, this week, Montrealers got a first look at what that new bridge will be. The new span will have three lanes in each direction and two lanes in the middle built for buses. It will also have space for pedestrians and cyclists. Despite the urgency of the situation, the design team did work to build what they hope will be a landmark, something Montrealers can be proud of and instantly recognizable around the world. That is your expression, minimalist. The head of the design team took exception to one reporter calling it minimalist. The pylons in particular, he says, make it unique. The two legs are so close to each other that they speak together, they nearly touch each other. That is, I think, enough to make it recognizable if you have eyes in your head. Now, there have also been some testy moments between the federal and provincial governments over the bridge. Ottawa is the owner of the Champlain and picking up the bill for the replacement, expected to be three to five billion dollars. But Ottawa's insisting on tolls, Quebec's arguing against them. How much will that toll cost? They're not saying. We are in 14, the bridge will be delivered in 18, let us work. Another debate is over those center lanes. Quebec wants light rail, not buses. Ottawa says that's fine, but the province will have to pay if it wants tracks instead of buses, as in the video. There were buses that can be trained over there. That's a provincial decision. Once you go on the bridge, you're like, oh my God. One thing to which everyone does agree is that the Champlain has reached the end of its lifespan and Montrealers have reached the end of their patience. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.